My name is Ernie Bach Jr. and I am founder of Music Drives Us. Music Drives Us is a foundation primarily to keep music in the schools, but we provide instruments, teachers, a place to learn, anything that has to do with a sustainable music program that needs help, Music Drives Us will be there. Music Drives Us is almost 20 years old. We've been keeping music in schools across New England, mainly Massachusetts, and we've given to over 250 different programs. Music is very, very powerful. Music can rewire the brain. It has been proven in many studies. It makes the kids more communicative, higher graduation rates, less violent. It's amazing. It can literally rewire your brain. Music has this way of also bringing people together that transcends time, transcends places, cultures. Music has this power to truly unite people. When I started Music Drives Us, I knew there was a need for music in schools. I knew it. I was fortunate enough to grow up. We had a killer, killer music department in our school. So I was really fortunate. I, I had music. And, and as I investigated and saw budgets being cut and music being trashed out of schools, I mean, I've walked into schools where the music was done in the boiler room in the basement. Literally, the boiler room in the basement. So we try to change that. We work with not only schools, but other nonprofits. We have three different grants, including organizational, performance, and instrument grants. So we like to do the best we can. So whether that be giving physical, like a, a check to help supplement programs, or what we really love doing is um, providing instruments and providing supplies that normally schools aren't given or teachers usually have to buy out of their own pocket um, and we can provide them and I think that's beautiful. Recently we had a rock and roll drive-in with my brother and that was our third annual one and this year we got to help the town of Mansfield bring their champs program back and 20 years ago their, pro their entire music program was cut for their school so they've just been relying on this after school program that not many kids can be a part of and we were able to give violins, violas, cellos and a ton of books to them and it's really wonderful. I really, I really enjoy doing it. We really appreciate instrument donations. We're starting to get a program together to figure out what we can physically do with all these instruments that get donated to us, find a way to get them refurbished and then sent back out to schools. Right before COVID, we gave 750 ukuleles to the Boston school system, which was really cool. Uke walls are really popular in schools now. When, when I was growing up, you had to play the recorder, okay? Now the recorder is good and it helps and everything like that, but when it's holiday time and little Johnny says he's gonna pull out the instrument and he pulls out the recorder, everybody runs. But when he pulls out a ukulele, everybody gathers around. So the ukulele is replacing the recorder as standard in music education. Every year we have our big fundraising holiday party. We, we get a cool act every year usually. This past year we had Peter Wolf and I believe we raised close to over like $20,000 for the charity, which is absolutely huge for us. There's so much we can do with that amount of money. You can go to musicdrivesus.org and then they can donate online and then check out, check out our socials. We're on, we're on Instagram, Facebook, see what we have going on. We have a ton of events and we love people coming to them. For the next five years or the next hundred years, we are trying to keep music in the schools, keep music in the public and private sector funding grants for sustainable projects. That's the whole thing. If we can, if we can just get the fire started, it, it will burn.